Southern Rail Fan is the place for amazing videos of all types of trains. Southern Rail Fan, subscribe today. Okie dokie. Nowadays, when you're out watching a train, most likely you're going to see a GE locomotive. They are dominating the rails now, but it's not always been that way. Back in the day, manufacturer EMD was ruling the rails and you saw my favorite locomotive on just about every railroad and that is the SD40-2 which uh, began being produced in 1972 all the way up through the late 80s so there was a ton of them you don't see many of them now but uh, you still get an opportunity every once in a while to, to see them and this video we're going to look at the SD40-2. Norfolk and Southern X Conrail SD40-2 number 3404. Take a little closer look at it. Evidence of being X Conrail. It's got the ditch lights down uh, underneath the anti-climber. Like it's had one replaced, it's one hadn't been painted black. Don't see many Norfolk and Southern uh, units without ditch lights on both ends, or even I haven't noticed them. It's kind of an oddity. That's a plow on both ends. There's a Fred laying up there. I can get safely on the other side, I'll show you the other side. Okie doke. Hopefully the sun won't be too much uh, for this. This is part of a work train that's been working on the S line in Western North Carolina. 91Q is what it's been uh, operating under. Newer horse head scheme. More up close truck detail for you modelers. You know, that's a little close-up video of the Norfolk Southern SD40-2, number 3404.
Okie doke, that was a pretty cool video up close looking. I think I filmed that back in 2014. So a lot of these videos are gonna be over the years. Of course, we had to go back pretty deep into the archives to get some stuff uh, uh, leading, especially on the Norfolk Southern. And speak about leading, let's look at several videos with the SD40-2 leading the train.
big treat. Here's an SD40-2 leading Southern style, long hood forward. Over the years, many railroads have put their SD40-2s through in-house rebuild programs, uh, mostly upgrading electronics. But uh, Norfolk and Southern and CSX uh, decided to upgrade the cabs on a lot of the rebuilds. Not all of them, but a lot of the rebuilds. And they wind up having a really squared off cab. This first train we're gonna look at is an SD40-3 on CSX uh, leading an ethanol train by the South End of Marion. As you see by that, it had that real squared off cab. Now, Norfolk and Southern calls theirs the Admiral cab. I'm not sure if uh, CSX has a name for their cab. And one other addition uh, to the SD40-2 body or frame, CSX is beginning to add the eco-friendly, whatever you want to call it, Jivo motor inside the SD40-2 car body. 
This train we're gonna look at now will show you the comparison. The first locomotive is a standard SD40-2, and the second locomotive is an SD40-2 that has been modified with the GVO locomotive. And you can tell it has the big slanted uh, radiators on the long hood. These are designated as ET23 something or another. I forget exactly what they are, but uh, check this train out and look at the difference. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that look at the SD40-2. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.